hello uh, YouTube and Facebook. Uh, in case you all wonder, it has been a while. <laughs> uh, most of my subscribers are probably well aware of that. Um, I, they know also that I've just recently gone back to work and it's kind of made quite a bit of a difference for me and my energy levels. And uh, so I've been diligently, you know, when you go from not working at all and go back to a five day work week schedule, uh, it takes a while for your body to get adjusted and everything. And, uh, you know, I have been feeling better. Uh, like I say, I'm on the up and up. Things are on the up and up. Um, they did my blood work here recently at HIMG in Huntington, where my doctor, my cancer doctor, Dr. Beer, uh, where he works, but he also works at St. Mary's Hospital, too. Um, and I've had most of my surgeries at St. Mary's and stuff, if you will. But HIMG is basically, um, it's just, uh, it's not quite as large as the, the St. Mary's is. Um, it's, Another branch, if you will, and stuff. A lot of uh, one side of the building is a lot of cancer research and stuff, and and uh, they do a lot to 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 help in those areas. But uh, so yeah, how I've been feeling, you know, I mean, I still have the cancer, but um, you know, I could say after that anointing, my energy level shot to the roof, and I and the way I felt generally felt I felt something lift up on me uh, <clears throat> after the third person anointed me with oil and uh, or the second elder we had two elders there and my pastor is basically when it uh, oh Charles <laughs> uh, he was the one I, I, but the Lord came at that moment I know it I mean I felt a huge lifting from from me from that so you know i'm very excited and very happy about that it's been a while since i showed this backdrop off i just love how the water flows and everything and it just makes me think of tennessee I, although i've never been there but just from stories from all my friends what they tell me um what i bring to uh, in the future with jeremy channel 333 i'm looking for more songs and just trying to get into what I can, what I feel. Uh, those who know me really well, they know most of my songs are about uplifting or praising the Lord's name <laughs> and praising the Lord. So uh, I don't know. There's just uh, a nostalgia and uh, just something that moves me with certain songs and gospel. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight, or for this particular video, however keep it short simple and sweet uh is the courage of remind them we need to examine ourselves always pray without ceasing continually you know look to the the look to the lord for guidance and in prayer uh you know my three p's I always tell everybody put god first pray to the lord and praise Praise the Lord and seek Him out in the Word. Uh, my uh, first passage. Let's see here, which one has the card in it? Will be uh, Matthew five forty-five, and uh, I just wanted to bring something up that is very seldomly brought up. Um. And I think it's very important to cap, uh, to capture you, the viewer, and uh, the subscriber's attention on this particular subject. <clears throat> I'm going to start with 544, actually. Um, or 543 and down. Matthew 543 and down. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. Love your enemies, 
see, do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Okay, now take notice here in 45. For he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good. And sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. Okay. Uh, well, and bring the attention here he is, is to take notice, you know, not only does the Lord weigh and balance our um, Father Abba, Father God, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, not only does he weigh and balance things on a scale, he's always, let's not forget he is always holy holy and perfect in all his ways. He's always good all of the time. And uh, the Lord mentions, and Matthew 5 is one of my favorite passages, uh, by the way. <laughs> it's because it's the Sermon on the Mount, you know, and it just opens up beautifully. He just gives you a real good idea what God loves. And um, But Jesus, he's really adamant about uh, letting you know that He's even fair towards um, those who don't deserve it. So what an awesome God we do serve. What a wonderful God. And we're expected to know uh, just how real our God is just by looking at our surroundings. You know, you could look up and you can see the, the moon and the stars and the sun. You know, that the, and, and that beautiful blue sky. And then we have clouds. You know, without a doubt, that there's a designer and a creator in it. But also, you have mathematics. We can go into that in the future. Um, but now I'm going to go to Psalm 56.3. Now, another thing that, um, you know, I thought that was a good intro and lead to go into the main subject. is Because some of you, and I, like I say, I'll go into this in my walk, in my experience in my life, as especially my early, I got saved at a very young age. I got saved in Enid, Oklahoma at the age of nine. And at the age of 12, at Simon Church through Pastor Webb, I went up again. <laughs> but when I reflect and I look back on things, I understood at the age of nine and I believed and accepted then. But when I was at age 12, I was still a young kid and I was still had my doubts. So, But um, I, what I want to do is... Uh, take away doubts, you know, and just let you understand you can trust in the Lord. You can fully trust in Him. He's holy and He's perfect and He's always good all the time. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to go ahead and read 1 to 3. Psalm 56, 1 to 3. Be merciful unto me, O God, for man, man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they may be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time am I afraid? I will trust in thee. Now that's King David. <laughs> uh, you know, he's pretty much telling the Lord, I have no doubts, I trust, fully trust in you. Uh, we'll go to Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. And we also have uh, Isaiah 12, 2. We have Isaiah 12 too, as well. <laughs> but I will not turn there because I've basically have just one hand available. I'm not using uh, my my prompter over there. And uh, basically, I think what I really wanted to do is mainly get my backdrop in this time and... Uh, just see how this video turns out all together without using it. Uh, I don't think I should be using it every time I do a video. But sometimes I like to go outside too. <laughs> but um, 
God bless each and every one of you. And I just want you to remember to fully trust in the Lord our God and Savior Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, and to uh, to understand He is wonderful and amazing, glorious, and uh, you know Matthew five forty five. You know uh, He reigns His His uh, He reigns on the just and the unjust. You know um, He. Is he uses uh, both sides, you know? Um, he loves both sides, but the main thing is uh, he wants you to know that to believe his truth, that he, he came down and fulfilled his promises, just as he said in Isaiah and Jeremiah and many too many prophets in the past, and he came and fulfilled every and dotted every I across every T, every prophecy that he he claimed us that he would do. And he said he'd see us white as snow, and it's none of our doing. It's what he done at Calvary. He said it is finished. It's his finished work at the cross. So uh, just to remember, the main most important thing is to understand that Jesus Christ is Lord. He's the true Son of God, the true Messiah, the one true and living God. Um, he came down lower than angels. He, he's God in the flesh, and, you know, he fulfilled the word. And that's why it mentions you have God the Father, God the Son as the word, and the Holy Spirit. Well, I'm signing off. God bless each and every one of you.